Disclaimer, all available content in this awareness session is for positive lifestyle management purposes. Positive lifestyle management does not advocate or support game banging, drug selling or usage, violence or any negative actions, behavior or attitude against men, women or children. Our platform is for the uplifting of fallen humanity. I was homeless, I didn't have a house Sleeping in my car outside my friend's house He walked out, said come inside Why you sleeping in your ride? You know it's cold outside Can't eat food, ain't no place to live Good advice, eat some good time Get on the say get on the grind Don't give up my nigga, you best in the shine Get on your feet, nigga Greetings brothers and sisters Welcome to another uh, episode of Positive Lifestyle Management my name is Shantario, a.k.a. Brother Midnight. Today we have a spe very special guest, my little brother, man, coming out of Fayetteville. Y'all know what it is, man, Fayetteville, NC. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing, man, out there on the rap scene. Uh, very good brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Also nice with them clippers, if you don't know. My man, man, hey, hey, let me know what it is, man. Let me know where you at with it. See. You know, I ain't, I'm, I'm nice on that mic. Like I said, I'm nicer than Clippers. You know what I'm saying? I, ain't, I ain't trying to brag, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Two things I ain't nice at. You know what I'm saying? Nah, oh, but man. yes, you know what I'm saying? Case Cheeto, man, coming out of uh, Fayetteville, North Cat, you know what I'm saying? North Carolina, 2 6. Oh, um, shit. Just, just a young, young nigga trying to push, man. That's all it is. Yeah, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying. But how how long you been at it, man? You know what I'm saying. Like how long you been you been on the scene with you know what I'm saying, rapping, man, and just making music, bro. Like, what inspired you to get into that? Oh shit, music, man. I've been doing. I've been recording. Actually, recording music since I was like 14, going on 15, and the shit was like horrible. It was terrible, man. It was you know what I'm saying. We didn't know what the hell we was doing, man. We were just recording on little computer mics and shit, man, just whatever. But, um, yeah, since I was probably, like, 15, like, 14, 15, around that time, um, shit, uh, ever since then, you know, and I just been pushing. Like, I was moved around a lot when I was little, so <clears throat> I got to certain, you know what I'm saying, different little states and areas and shit, started picking up, like, motherfuckers that wanted to, you know say kind of like what I was doing with music, even when I was, when I was trash, you know what I'm saying? Right. And kind of just stayed, stayed rocking with me and shit, like, to this day, I still got something that rock with me from when I was 16, you know right, what I'm saying, I'm right. 31 now, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, I got better, picked that up, kept it going, pushed with it, you know what I'm saying, kept moving, kept doing it, and you know what I'm saying? That's kind of where we at with it right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm just still trying to push just on another level with it. For real, for real. For sure, for sure, man. I seen, man. You know what I'm saying? You just did, like, your first video, man. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? The brothers, man, was there to support, man. And, uh, you know, let us let us know what what, it, what that experience was like, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, putting that video out, man. Letting, letting the people know, man, who you are, man. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? What you believe in as far as far as uh, you know, growth and development is concerned, man. How has that inspired you even the more, man, to uh, you know, reach the masses through your music, bro? As far as like growth telling me, you know, a lot of you know saying kind of when I was introduced to um to growth and development, um a lot of individuals that I knew were still pushing um Oh, you know what I'm saying? Old concept, basically. You right, know, they right. still was on other type of time, man. It was like um, it wasn't messing up with what me and my brother was um right. coming up on and reading it and learning about and everything like that. So, um, me and my brother kind of got involved at the same time, and you know what I'm saying? I looked at it like <clears throat> it kind of gave me like tools. To, to, like, better myself, you know what I'm saying? It helped me kind of move through life, you know what I'm saying? It helped me kind of move life as a man and everything. Like, I was growing up, 
you know what I'm saying? It was just me, mother, my sister. Then it all came the stepfather figure, you know what I'm saying? And that we always clashed, you know what I'm saying? And it never meshed. So I never really picked up anything from him. So the things that I probably would have picked up from my father figure, I picked up from growth and development, you know what I'm saying? Right, it was just right. things put in place with that. And teachers put in place with that that kind of help you move through life as a man, learn how to be, you know what I'm saying, a man, try to teach you to be a better man. Right. And that's what I kind of used it as, you know what I'm saying? That's what I kind of used it as. And I um, basically just learned from that, applied it. The older I got, the more it made sense, you know what I'm saying? The older I got, the more it made sense. The more mature I got, the more it made sense, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, and, right, right. We still growing, you know what I'm saying? Keep growing and developing with it. <clears throat> exactly. Never stay stagnant. Yeah, never stay stagnant with it. You know what I'm saying? Just keep moving. Right. Um, so so you far, always seen that uh that process of growth and development, you know what I'm saying, all through your life. You know what I'm saying? That process was always there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You seen it through your ups yeah, and like, downs it's... and everything. Yeah, I mean, like, you with anything, man. Like, to me, I, I, I treat it like this with, with anything. You got to take it and apply it to, you know what I'm saying, situations and things that you go through personally. Um, it's like it may say one thing, but it's like you, you take it, you know what I'm saying, you take out of it what you need, apply it to what you're going through or what you're trying to do and right. let it you know what I'm saying, help you form and help you move the way you need to move, you know what I'm saying, and that's kind of what I was letting it do, even when I was younger, what I really know, what I was letting it do, you know what I'm saying, that's what, that's what it was doing, then the older I got, the more aware and conscious I was of it happening, you know what I'm saying, so I kind of took the more um, initiative to help it, you know what I'm saying, help apply it, you know what I'm saying, to life and shit, so it can kind of help me move a little better, you know, and it teach you things you kind of need in life. You know what I'm saying? My thing was discipline. You know what I'm saying? I like this. I like discipline a lot, man. You right. know what I'm saying? Coming that up, go with I, the, was, I ain't care, bro. Yeah, because that, that go with that method. You know what I'm saying? The method of the three Ds. You know what I'm saying? That dedication, determination, and discipline. You know what I mean? So I can understand that, that like, totally. That was like a main thing with, with me. Yeah. And that was the main thing with me, like, all them, you know what I'm saying, them three Ds especially, like, because I felt like I needed all three of them to be successful, right. you know what I'm saying, and whatever I was trying to do. Right, so right, right. So I kind of tried to focus on getting them, make sure I had them. But as far as the um that video man, that I shot, show me that I shot Weezworth and then we just shot on my mind. That's the one I just shot yeah. on my mind. That's the one where the, you know what I'm saying, the bros came out. The bros came out and got Yeah, there. man, I see it. You, you know, know what I'm saying? They look acting and shit. Yeah, I seen how the brothers was, you know what I'm saying, came from different areas. Brothers come from Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? The brothers that, there, that was there in Raleigh's. Some coming from Fayetteville, man. And uh, it was a beautiful thing, man, just to see the brothers coming together for something positive and productive, man, and, you know, support, you know what I'm saying? Because the biggest thing that lacks within within our communities, man, is, is, is support, especially when somebody yeah. is trying to, you know, uh, uh, have a career in something that they have a passion for, you know what I'm saying? You have a passion for making music, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't watch you even on even on Facebook, man, you know, you will post something, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you at the mic and you you going in, you know what I'm saying? So I yeah. I, I see your passion with your music, bro. And uh, I salute you 100%, man, for, you know, just continuing to be who you are, man. You know what I'm saying? And you nice on them clippers too, dog. I seen, I seen a couple of your clips, man. You had old buddy spinning around, man. And yeah, then I'm seeing out clean, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Your brother was butt up in that thing, man. How long? How long you been in the shop, bro? How long you been cutting? Shit, I ain't even cutting hair. Um, <laughs> I, I got my license two thousand eighteen. Um, yeah, my license two thousand eighteen. I was registered barber two thousand eighteen. The end of two thousand eighteen. I came home two thousand nineteen. 
I got in the shop. In the shop since September 2019. I've been in the shop ever since then. So I've probably been getting here about licensed about three years. Yeah, but see, that's it's crazy though, right? Because it's like you know, like I'm looking at you know how how the cut comes together, man, and it's, and it's you know a perfect blend. It ain't no spots. You know how some people blend and then you still see that line. You know what I'm saying? Like some people, you know, they know they don't know how to get that line out, get that fade, make that fade look crisp, man. When, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You had the brother in the chair, man. You did that sprint around, man. You seen everything was was blended. The 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 the, the, the fade was crisp. The line up was crisp, man. And uh, you know, it's like. You know, you you a multi talented brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you ain't no average Joe, man. You, I mean, you really out there getting to the money. You really chasing that bag. Yeah, it be small thing, man. With barbering was, I never wanted to do the. I never wanted to do the barbering thing, bro. <laughs> like <clears throat> when I was locked up, bro. Right. North Carolina um, prison system, they got a barber school okay. in one of the camps. So, um, you know, when you on, you know, you on the yard, you trying to get to the sweetest camp. You know, so you trying to get where it's, it's yeah, jumping. You, you trying know to what hit saying? that level one. You, you trying to be. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you trying to. Hey, they go over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So where I was at camp. at first, yeah. So like where I was at, man, they had me in the mountains by. Out there by the um with the rednecks, bro. Like the the out there by Tennessee and shit. Yeah. So I wanted to get away from there, and I stayed out there like the whole year. But I wanted to get away from there. I was trying to get my levels and shit. So and they weren't trying to promote it, you know what I'm saying? Be because you know how that go. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, they right, try right, everything no. they can to try to mess it up. Yeah. So excuse me. So um, I signed up for barber school. So I'm like, okay. School is the way to move, you know what I'm saying? School will move you throughout the throughout the state, camp to camp. Use your school and move around. So I'm like, all right, bet. I sign up for um barber school and they don't they don't put me in. So they don't put me in. So time go by, I'm still in the mountains. So then I'm like, yo, hey man, fuck the mountains, though. I'm trying to leave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> This shit, some bullshit. I'm not staying up here no yeah. more. So then I signed up for this shit. They had another way to move called kosher diet. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you got to change your, your religion in the system to right. Jewish. Put your paper into the kitchen that you need to be have a kosher diet. There's only certain camps that have kosher kitchens. So when you put that in, in a, in a week, you know what I'm saying? They're going to move you. So I put it in. Through that, down to the worst, the worst camp in the fucking state, man. I went to the worst fucking place. I was supposed to, I thought I was going somewhere else. They put me in the worst camp ever. So I went down the lanes, bro. I'm down there and shit. As soon as I get down there, bro, I get put in gang. I can get put in the gang system. Oh um, man, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting told I can't even go to school no more. So I, I had tried to get barber school again. So. This lady, man, I forget her name, but she really looked out, you know what I'm saying? And she kind of like hit my paperwork, you know what I'm saying? And just pushed me, pushed my paperwork through, but hid the stuff that was gonna stop me from going. So I ended up getting into barber school. I was the first um gang, you know what I'm saying, system validated gang member to get into barber school and make it through. Yeah, so they, they, they they never let nobody do that before. Right. Cause they quick to STG somebody, so, you know what I'm saying? When you hit certain yards, they would STG. STG yeah. Boy, hey, look, STG the hell out my ass, boy. Yeah. Got me all in it. My pictures all over that motherfucking goddamn gang office. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so I used that. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to get in there. I got in the school. Now, everybody else that was in school, you know, they was ho about it, but it was me and my little man's Euro. Um, rest in peace, he died. But it was me and Mero, and we big on music, so we clicked. You know what I'm saying? All we would do, all we would do, bro, write music, banging on the table in the day room, bro. We just beating on the table all day, right? Right. We skip school. 
skip barber school. I'm talking with skipping school. Jay. I'm not. I'm not studying. G. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> I mean, all I care about is writing this music. G. I'm filling up. I'm filling up four, five notebooks. G. No exaggeration. I still right. got them. Right. I'm filling up books, bro. Song got song. We throwing shows on the yard. Saying hundred people coming around watching us, guards coming down, got to come with their little squad and break it up type shit. Right. So I was a told guys like y'all don't care about this shit, man. I'm going, we going, I'm doing music when I get out. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I appreciate you, man, taking out this time uh, to chop it up with me, man, on your uh, music endeavors and also, you know, what I'm saying, uh, being multi talented, man. You know. Working in the barbershop, cutting hair, you know, doing all the things that you're doing, man. Staying positive and productive, man. And, uh, you know, uh, to the public, man, to the general public, this has been another awareness session or episode, as as I would say from the beginning, of Positive Lifestyle Management. My name is Shantario, a.k.a. Brother Midnight. That's my brother Cage, man. Be looking out for his music. It's on every platform, Spotify, what. Whatever music platform it is, man, his music is out there, man. Six. You know what I'm saying? Look, look for this next video, yeah. what I'm six. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, just check out the music, support our brother, man, in his uh, mm -hmm. in his endeavors, man, to you know what I'm saying, blow up on the music scene. And with that being said, peace. <laughs>